Hello, all you wonderful beans out there, and welcome to the stream. The I am Razim, and this is Data Resistance Squad Scar, Season 1, Episode 28, Mopping Up. This is our Digimon campaign being run with our custom Scar system, or stories and creatures in alternate realities. We shall begin, as usual, with introductions, beginning with the very cute one, Kerr. Hello everyone, I am Kerr, I am the storyteller, and here for Happy Fun Times. And I am Razim, and I am playing as Asher, the Labramon. Lord of Death, God of Death, God of Evil, Super Evil, uh, Evil Over Mind, uh, he is Astral Light Type, and uh, a Labramon. And Evil. Super Evil. He's Evil, right? Not Evil? Evil? No, Evil. Oh, we're using the V now, okay. It's always been V. I thought it was just the meme that it was evil, e -B -I -L. No, it's evil. No, it's a lisp. Are you making fun of my voice? I'm just... You're just mean. Going in and out. That's mean. I'm just going... You're a jerk. Accidental betrayal at it again. And I am Toshime, and I am playing Brioche the Burgermon. Basic type. Hello, and I'm Drunk Dragonera. I'm going to be playing Jace, the uh, normally Gilmon, but right now uh, Growlmon, Shadowfire, or excuse me, Shadow Mythic type. Hi, I'm Magna. I'm the lovable accidental trader Dracomon X, who is a fire shadow type, and oh boy, I might cry. Hello, I'm Taldiris, and I'll be playing Riv, the uh, the mythic Earth type Vorpamon. He is ice based. I guess it's my turn. Uh, my name is Rygon from the channel Rygon Plays. I'll be playing Spectre, uh, the metal mythic uh, Gammamon. Yes, you should all definitely go check out my friends who also stream. They don't stream this game, but they do stream on their own channels. That would be Era, who's playing Chase over at twitch.tv slash drunk underscore dragon underscore Era, and Rygon, who's playing as Spectre over at twitch.tv slash Rygon Plays. Now to the recap! Uh... Well, this was your mess, so go for it, Magna. God. Okay. How's it my mess? You were the one who tried to... You know what? Okay. You're the one that sent Gar in here. Yeah, that's right. Uh... So we pick off last week with Magna deciding, hey, I'm... No, I'm wrong. Um, we started the last. We started the session with everyone feeling better and heading off to go over to Hodu, where we end up going. And Charles was the first one to end to check out Hodu's chambers because he heard noises back there. It was Hodu talking with Gar. And Gar looks extremely uncomfortable. Also, when they entered the church and everything, it was empty. There was no Digimon on the walls. Nothing like that. Um, and while Magna was in the back, Air um, Asher, with the help of Riv, found out that there was something off about Horu pinpointed the location Asher tried to fix it released a sort of 
evil vestige of Suneros, was it? It was, uh, I think it was just demonic energy, right? Yeah, it was an infection, the corruption from the Dark Nuts. Okay, so it was just a vestige from the Dark Nuts. Yeah, it's like if somebody's cancer got up and sucker punched you. Basically, yeah. yes. Basically, exactly, yes. Oh, um, and then immediately that vestige walked up to Asher, pierced a hole through him, and threw him over everybody's head. And that's when Magda finally saw the monster. He's like, Jesus Christ, what the fuck? What the heck is that? Turned around, decided to heal Asher by using fire, got targeted, Chase pissed the thing off, got targeted as well, and then someone cut off the head targeting Magna, making it focus on everyone in the room. Hi, I'm someone. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. I'm sorry. But Spectre was the one who cut off the head. Um, and then AoE attack dropped everyone. Horu put up a shield protecting him and Gar, but they weren't going to be able to do it next turn. Jace was still standing after the AoE. Taunted the thing in order for it to fight him. And... Riv finished it off. Because Vortigern was in control. Immediately sent a bit of his data into the Vestige, killing it. And then... We ended with Magna and Asher running into the room to heal and pick up everyone that was on the ground. Yeah, Vortigern threatened Holru as well, and then returned to control. Oh, true. True, you did. It's like, hey, if you do something like this again, I won't hesitate to kill you. I understand this time it was something else. <clears throat> Yeah, fun fact, he was kind of lying through his teeth because he's not actually... He, he he can't bring himself to kill anyone, but he wouldn't beat the shit out of him. He'd be fine doing that. Still. It was scary enough, as was. As it was. Yep. I think Chase said something at the end, but I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember either. Ash, aren't you Digivolved too right now, or did you de unevolve? Oh, right, he is Digivolved. So he's actually a Doberman. Oh, yeah. The only reason Magna wasn't immediately just, like, murked on sight was because he didn't Digivolve. It was only when he was targeted because he brought Asher back up. Yeah. Which is lovely. Uh, Kerr, important question. You said the desk was still there and it was fine. Does it have, like, scratches on it, or is it just, like, pristine desk? Uh, the, the desk was protected when, uh, Holru protected Gar. Oh, okay. Uh, because when Riv does get back into control, he is going to, uh, tell Holru. Uh, you do, you do have a really nice desk, though. Oh, right. Now remember, Jace was hovered over Holruno's, said something about, I think we need to have a talk about some things that we want or something, something. I don't remember the exact line. Yeah, that works. Nice desk. This is the first time Magnus seeing his boyfriend since the whole, hey, I'm going to trust you to take care of this. This is going to be so much fun. Maybe you should take your boyfriend and go. Who knows? That might be the plan. I don't know. Tokemi tipped one hundred and twenty dollars. Razim contract. <clears throat> Toshime, <laughs> thank you so very much for your support. Thank you for helping the channel out as much as you do. That is mm -hmm. the tip goal fully completed. Or, excuse me, uh, Tokime, according to a voice. Tokime. 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 Hug the Tokime. Why does that sound like a Pokemon ripoff? 
probably is. Oh, uh, by the way, Kurt, I forget if I, I... I think I asked this last time, but just to double check. Uh, is all of the, uh, like, corruption that was found inside, like, you know, when Riv last did a scan, is that all pushed out, or are there vestiges? Uh, it is all gone. Okay, good. So, uh... Hey, Magna. Take, yes. take, take your boyfriend. Go on. Get out of here. I'm gonna... We're gonna we're gonna talk to Horu, I think. Right, Horu. It's okay if uh, Gar leaves. Right. Horu will nod his head. Magnus is gonna be like grabbing Gar's arm, just like slowly pulling him, just like looking kind of in fear. In between Jace, um, Horu, and everyone else, is like, yeah, let's just let's just go, Gar. Let's just go. Gar is going to let out a groan and slowly get to his feet to follow you. So, Haru. We have a few requests, maybe. If you're open to entertaining. Of course, make What's sure up? to respond to Riv there, who complimented your desk. Oh, uh, thank you. Sorry about kind of distracting you, but I did actually want to know about your desk. Uh, well, do you want to know about my desk? Oh, uh, no, no, I was I was saying that when I was asking all those things about the desk, I did actually want to know that even if I was also kind of distracting you. I, I didn't want I didn't want you to think that I was uh, lying about, you know, wanting to know about the desk because it is a cool desk. Um, thank you. Sorry, my head's still a little bit fuzzy after everything that happened. Oh, okay. Uh, so, uh, long story short, there's, uh, kind of a hole in the data killer. I uh, found that out because I could access the internet, and, uh, it's been leaking in the entire time. And then, so it also, uh, was kind of inside of you. And then we pushed it out, and then it tried fighting everyone, and then we got rid of it. Oh. Yeah, welcome back to reality. So, about this re What was up? Oh, my net died. <laughs> well, that's not good. Uh, we'll give it a minute, see if it uh, reconnects here. Took a moment to actually uh, pop up that it died. Yeah, we'll see if it reconnects, everybody. All right, and my net has reconnected, so we are back, everybody. Um, and we got some fan art that came in while uh, the internet was down for a few minutes so let's go ahead and bring that up because this is wonderful raijin absolutely wonderful whoa Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that happened just minutes ago. Raijin uh, fast. Raijin is very fast. <laughs> uh, that is wonderful. Makes me feel bad now for all my actions in this campaign. This is what makes you feel <laughs> This <bad>. is what. <laughs> Traitor! Wow. Betrays us at every turn, and it's not until you make fun of Asher's lisp that you uh, feel bad. Got it. So, it, it was the needle that broke the camel's back, okay? Ah, <laughs> uh, Malifors. Mm. 
I don't remember what Jace asked before the whole thing happened, so I guess Riv, go right into your explanation. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, just to recap, uh, you know, Holru uh, was uh, talking about how his head was still funny, so Riv gave a little bit of a uh, mini explanation, uh, which was... Uh, yeah, so uh, what 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 we did is uh, you know we we got a couple bits of uh, uh, bits of old medical data from Titus and then compared that against what you had right now and made sure that you know we were just pushing out all the darknet data and then we pushed out all of the darknet data and uh, all of this has been happening because uh, it turns out that there's actually a hole in all of the data killer and uh, we found that out because I'm actually able to access the internet through all of that. And uh, so it turns out it's all just been leaking inside of the world this entire time. And then, uh, you know, it's been it's been slowly filling up everyone and especially you, because uh, I, I, I don't <clears throat> think that you have gotten it cleansed even by, you know, dying ever. He shakes his head. I don't think I've died as far as I can remember. Oh, OK. So you've spent more than a thousand years just getting filled with, uh, you know, Darknet data. Like most people have but yeah access to the thing you know maybe clean up your town I can contact Titus for you if you need help you know maybe not have slavery uh slavery oh yeah you done fucked up oh yeah there was also Digimon strung up on the walls apparently and turned into art pieces of torture Pretty terrible. I'm sorry, what? Uh, remember the whole thing about me saying that you got filled up with Darknet data? Uh, yeah, here's a... I, I can actually send you what it looked like if you want. I don't think I want to see that. Oh, okay, well, uh, you were very evil. But I'm evil. Oh, wait. Not that kind of evil. Wrong. No, 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 that's evil. why I said very evil. Very evil is different than evil, I guess. Oh, wait. He was evil, evil? Yes. Yeah. Oh, how did he not explode? Uh, I think it might have been the Darknet data holding him together. Okay, I need to get some Darknet data. Got it. No, that's bad. Asher, adorable, no. Okay, but a anyway, uh, yeah, there, there's also a hole in the data killer, and I'm I, I'm kind of going to be trying to help Captain Titus with, you know, plugging the hole. Although I don't know if I did that right, but, you know, okay. I'm going to be trying. Also, hi, in case you forgot, my name's Riv. Nice to meet you, Riv. So, you're not going to let corruption hit you again, right? Now we're in the future. He shakes his head. I don't intend to, no. Good, because I don't want to have to kill you in the future if something like this happens again. I would also prefer not dying if it's all the same to you. I'm sure you would. But, you know, just maybe be more careful, more attentive to not let things invade you that might make you, I don't know, murder people senselessly or do terrible things, even in the name of good, because if I ever catch you again, I will call you out and you don't cleanse yourself. I might literally eat you. Uh, to, to be fair, Captain Titus and Ash both didn't know that it was happening, so I don't think he did either. Yes, but... First swing is free, right? I'll oh, message uh, Titus. Okay. Oh, I, I just messaged Titus that he can enter town now. Holder has oh, been okay. cleansed. And uh, Rip is going to go, oh, uh, so how much do you remember from, you know, before a couple minutes ago? Uh, Very little. It's all kind of just blurred it's like a dream i can kind of remember uh about how far back do you know what these desserts are there's something weird about them you wouldn't answer us uh, about about yeah. how far back is that blurry uh i sh a while 
everything just kind of seems blurry to me. It's like I just woke up from a really long dream. Well, okay. Uh, well, j just a warning then, because uh, it's it's kind of been happening to happen a couple of minutes ago, but it was actually kind of part of the deal, so it was okay that time, but it might happen again in the future. Uh, I am also kind of might be a calamity. What? Hi, uh, I'm also the shell of the Vortigern. What? Riv, why don't we give him a few minutes to, like, have his brain work? He was able to uh, talk. I oh, seems to be, like, I, pouting a little bit. Uh, I'm, I, I, I'm sorry, come again? What? Oh, did you forget who that was, too? No, I know who that is. I fought him several times. Oh, uh, yeah, no, I'm kind of... Don't worry, I broke a lot of rules... And I didn't get integrated into him when he woke up, and I'm keeping him inside of me. Uh, in, ca in case you can't, in, in case it helps, uh, I, I, I don't. I used to be fire based, and then when he woke up, now I'm ice based. So he's gonna like motion towards the fact that he's like, you know, got ice all over the place as a four of a mom. He just kind of looks at you for a moment right before looking at everyone else. Yeah, kind of screwed up, huh? It's under control. By the way, yeah, we still got a while before he tries to escape again. Raises an eyebrow slowly. The funny thing is he has no room to speak right now. I mean, I kind of thought that now that you're no longer evil again, you kind of want to know this. Sorry. No, I, I'm just worried about what will happen to the world. Oh, uh, hey guys, should we tell him the other thing then? No. Other thing? Yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, give him like 30 minutes to process, but whatever. Okay, do you want to know the other kind of worrying thing? What's that? Oh, uh, we're also from the future and everything's awful there. It's like a thousand years. There's a reason okay. why I threatened you again. Okay, that's... Out of everything I've heard, that at least lets me know that the world survives a thousand years. Oh, we don't know if it's a closed or an open loop. Yeah, it's possible that uh, we may wind up, uh, well, destroying the world in a year or so. Oh. Said I was going to try to keep Vortigern inside. Try. Sound like I want him to destroy the world. Part of it depends on if you decide to give in to corruption again there, Holru. I don't intend to. No. Um, is there anything else I can offer you guys? No, we'll be back in a few days when we need access to the room that gives us access to the core. What? Anybody remember what that was called? I think it was like a vein or something, or kind of like a core ley line thing. Uh, out, out of giving her, what was that? Uh, basically the ley line of the area. Yeah, so it was it was Leyline. Got it. Cool. In that case, no one knows what Rip said. Otherwise, I guess we'll let you recover, huh? Well, I, do, I do owe you a great debt. So, if there's anything I can do to help you, feel free to ask. Right now, I'm just. 
trying to catch up. Oh, I can explain more things if you want to help. If you want to learn more things. I think I may need some time, he says slowly, looking at Riv nervously. Riv, it also depends on how the other towns are doing. We're going to have to do this at every town, aren't we? Oh, probably. Yay. I mean, because, you know, the, the, there's also the fact that, uh, you know, Michael's a town leader. I think yeah. Demi was a town leader, too, right? Yep. Correct. Demi's. So is Ray. So, yeah, we're going to have to do this a lot. But, uh, it, it's going to be a bit harder if we don't have access to old medical records like we did Holru, because that, that really helped, you know, isolate what was wrong. Narrow it down, yeah. We'll ask Titus when he's done helping Holru figure out what he's going to do here, huh? Well, I mean,. I think we should still probably also kind of try and do the whole uh, manipulate the data killer thing to close the hole. Well, we're going to have to go through them to get to the ley lines to be able to get to the thing to be able to close the hole. So, oh, well, one step at a time. Was it the whole thing about getting to the all the ley lines to send us back to the right place? And then Titus wanted my help with the figuring out how to patch the hole. I thought we couldn't access the core unless we went through the ley lines first, because I thought the ley lines were a lock. Well, I mean, Ash just said that he just it would just make it a, a lot easier because it would help him tap into things better. We'll ask him. Correct. Uh, the last time you heard about the ley lines and such was, was when Ash was playing dumb. So you don't know exactly if he needs it or not, or any clarification. He's never talked about it since. Uh, he did one time say he doesn't technically need it, but it makes it a hell of a lot easier on him. He did yeah. say that once. This is true. Yes, he did. Clarification either way. Yeah. Either way, I still want to look into the whole data killer thing, considering, you know, the whole uh, fixing the, the, the core thing is kind of like a slight separate issue because it like, you know, how the how the world was kind of made here and or saved. I guess saved. Saved is a better word. Temporarily. So we got to fix that. But then also, you know, it would erase whichever one actually fixed it. And then so uh, li like I I. Uh, what, what I kind of wanted to do is figure out how the data killer works, so that way, you know, I, at least I'm I'm pretty durable about things. So if I learn how to manipulate that, I could technically leave the world a bit and well, bring a data <clears throat> copy of the person who's supposed to get unexisted and then bring them back after the reformat and then they'd exist again. One step at a time, Rev, please. Yeah, that's why I wanted to look at the data killer. That was the first step. Breathe. <laughs> Spectre, Brioche, do you guys have anything before we head out? <clears throat> Not particularly. Oh, we have plenty of time right now. Let Horu get back on his feet. Yeah. I'm assuming Titus must just back that he's heading this way. Yes. Uh, though... I suppose there is something I think I should probably have it here as he nods and basically picks up a little disc, flicks it out, and a projection of the land appears. I figured you might want a map of this place if you're not from here. Well... We kind of are, but also everything's awful in the future, and it's a giant wasteland, so. Which is why I thought maybe a, a modern day, by my standards, map to help you get around. Oh, it definitely helped. I'll start. We'll look at it later. He'll nod and tap the disc as it vanishes and he offers it to you. I guess Jace will take it for now and pass it off later. 
Riv will be reaching out for it. Give it to Riv. He's Riv is Riv is gonna give like a little high five to Mir. They I'm sorry, I, I I just imagined Riv just making a little grabby pause towards it. Yeah. Hey, he does First. actually have like <clears throat> kind kind of like you know the things at the end of his wings, so like or the top of his wing, I guess I should say. Personally, I was thinking of uh, you know. Graumon Jace trying to grab this disc that to him is basically the size of a, you know, one of those really micro SD cards between his claws. Without oh, right. breaking Jace it, is of like course. 16 feet tall, so yeah. it's not a comfortable spot for him to be in to begin with. <laughs> he is very big right now. <laughs> oh, also, Mar Martin bought down. Ah, yeah, because the uh, net died the internet, when yeah. we restarted. But yeah, so R Riv is going to happily take that and then, like, give, like, a little, like, high five to Mir. Which actually might bring Mir to Holru's attention. Jace is in the way. Jace is going to start trying to make his way to the door. <laughs> Uh, Holru will give a little bit of a wave as you guys head off before just uh, kind of flopping back into his chair. As he does so, Riv is going to go, by the way, I'm going to come back later and ask you a bunch of questions about outside nodes. He just smiles slowly and nods. And humans are gone. Bye. I'm just imagining that whole room is just like, oh my god, it is like dealing with a with a child good version of Vortigern. He's going to be insatiable. I assume we go back to the house. Oh, we yeah. have actual downtime. Yes. Where wants to go find Ash? Ash is still in his room. He hasn't moved. Poor Ash. Is Ash awake? Yes. He does not seem happy about it, though. All right. Riv is gonna go in and just be like, Ash, 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 we did a thing. Palo goes flying at Riv's face. He's made out of rock. I doubt this is going to do anything other than bounce off of him. Riv just continually smiles as the bellow hits him dead on and bounces and flops to the floor. We have successfully gotten rid of all of the all of Holru's dark net data corruption. Mm, good job. Yeah, it uh, it, it caused this mass this massive uh, darknet data to come out, and then it started fighting us. And then a bunch of people got hurt. And then Vortiger came out in one shot, and then went back. Mm, sounds about right. Can you tell Magnet to keep it down? Him and Gar are in the other room, and they just haven't shut up. Okay. Oh, uh, uh, also, uh, here in case it matters, here's a uh, here's a recording of what happened because I don't like you being left out of the loop because I like sharing information with you because it means that maybe you'll share information with us. Asher's going to uh, devolve and uh, go slam on the door. Carry on. Uh, Rim is just going to send a copy of like a recording of what happened to Ash. Ash will accept it and file it away. Jace is happily being big right now. He's going to sit in the living room where he doesn't fit too well. Jace Biss is being big. Yeah. <laughs> oh. You're sitting on a couch meant for, you know, much smaller people. Yes. Y your ass just hangs off of both ends of the couch. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> the tail just draped over the back of the couch completely. No, 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 no. The tail. 
No, the tail's not even draped over. It's like still like a foot or two above the couch. No, no, the tail is still uh, going all the way out out the front door. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait a minute, when did Jace become verdant? <laughs> when did the when the never ending tail jokes begin? You're the one that wanted the really long tail on Jace. Big tails, best tails, shush. True. I was about to say, why are you complaining about this, Eric? I'm not. If that's canon, I'll take it. It's canon now. Take it to the bank. I don't think you can make it canon there, Magna. Canon now. There we go. Yeah, there we go. There you go. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just love it so much. I, I thought it should have been canon. Duke. Uh, and Rip is going to, uh, like, you know, pause at the door, look back at Ash, and then go, oh, and in just in case this is a closed loop, it's a really mean thing to put a bunch of poison meant to kill someone inside of a file and give it to them. You shouldn't, you shouldn't do that. That's mean. Meanwhile, Asher... <laughs> Magna, Wait, keep it free. down! Don't does make Ash me come actually, in there! Does Ash actually Lord. respond to what Riv says, by the way? Kerr, are you muted? Oh, I was no. waiting for Magna to respond. Okay. The door just slowly creaking open. It's like... Sorry. Sorry, I'll try to keep it down. Sorry. Sorry. Also, don't forget to use the protection. And, uh, you, you gotta make sure that, uh, well, you, you, there's this one trick that you can use. Uh, and you gotta make sure that you do it just right. Otherwise, he won't really like it. But if you do it right... Door closes. Well, that's this just like rude. We're not that far. I don't think so, anyway. All right, so, yes. Magna, how are you doing in there as the door shuts again? Magna's gonna turn around, look at Gar, and is like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Gar is gonna just walk forward and give you a very tight hug. I'm sorry I did this. I'm sorry that I... You said be oh. sorry! Tighter hugs. I'm sorry that you got caught because I asked you to do something you shouldn't have done. Hey, I chose to do it too. Yeah, but you told me it wasn't a good idea, and I told, and I still asked you to do it. And I'm still alive, so as long as that happened, everything worked out. Magnus still, still two feet tall, just like doing the best he can to give a hug, even though it's just like Gar gives uppies. <laughs> His arms are just like, like 180 degrees. He is like trying to give a hug. He's like, I'm sorry. I love you. I love you too. Now uppies! Lifts up and spins around. We gotta keep it down. We gotta keep it down. This is what happens when you have a small boyfriend. We they get to... uppies. You have to keep it down. Kerr, do you get uppies? Uppies! I'll remember this when I see you tomorrow, Kerr. Zim is bigger than I am. 
Which is strange because not very many people are taller than I am. What do you mean? You're short. Does that make it better? I am not short. I mean, I'm short. I'm like five foot seven. I'm like I'm six five foot, foot six foot one. Short. So short. Got it. I think I'm five eight. I'm taller than all of you. Excuse me. Subjective. <laughs> Fun, fun. Curs in trouble. Uh, but yes. I'll give you up uh, tomorrow, Kerr. Oh, what is everyone else up to as well, too? As Magna gets uppies. Uh, I was going to ask uh, if uh, Ash does actually respond to what Riv said. Uh, about the poison uh, file thing in the future. You said that to Ash? Yeah, Ash. Uh, I don't know. Oh, no, I that happens in the future, and I'm just saying in case it's, uh, like, you know, de depending on which type of loop it is, you shouldn't do that, because that's mean. He will nod his head slowly. And then he'll go off. The heel waves slowly before he's kind of flopping back in bed. Ash is gonna get a, like probably jump scared a little bit when he actually watches that file. Oh god. <laughs> well, I mean, considering the contents of it, it involves purging a dark net demon, having it come out, attack. One shot almost everyone in the room. Vortigern comes out and actually tries to kill something. True. That'll be spooky as heck. That is like the first time Vortigern has tried to kill something in a few centuries. Hard attack is my favorite thing. Yep. And then there's also the fact that, like, you know, the Rib did find something he wasn't supposed to find. Yeah, you guys got the rest of the uh, day. What would you like to do for the rest of the day? We have this strange thing called a day off. Is this like a holiday day off? Or is this leave? I don't think any of us know what to do with the day off actually you, out of you the, you have a full you have a full day off yes uh i mean i know what riv would do research does this place that was about to say does this place have a library yes it does like, Remember, like the town pretty... have a library it has a library right the one that gar yeah runs. That gar ran the library mm -hmm. okay well he knows that gar's with uh with with magna so he'll probably just like yell through the door a bit going, hey, Gar, I'm going to go to your library and check out some books. I'll write everything down that I take. And then, and then he's just going to leave. Gar? Okay, go ahead. Remember to use protection. I don't have to. I don't have to care about burning books anymore. Oh no, not you. That that's for those two. Oh okay. Yeah, they gotta make sure their miles. firewalls stay up and stuff. Magnet gets dropped from Gar's grasp from that statement.
Hey, Asher. Asher. <laughs> yeah? Also, Wanna uh, go shopping? Go ahead. Fan art. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. Oh, God. <laughs> Is it bad that I'm nervous <laughs> about this fan <laughs> 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 I love it. I love it. I didn't even do the door. Magic. He de digivolved, set through, then re digivolved just to be big. <laughs> yes. Yes. I love the magna keep it down in the background. Yeah. <laughs> magna, keep it down. Look, sometimes you don't ask questions. You just you just nod. Uh, by the way, uh, on his way out, Riv is going to tell as many people as he passes that he's off to the library. Which would include the the absolutely massive Jace, and would probably require Riv to like kind of climb over his tail a bit to leave. Jace will pick up Riv and be like, "Hold on, we're going shopping. We'll come with you." Or at least I am. Does this mean I have to get small again? Uh, I mean, I think if you want to move through the streets, and then also, didn't they have the rule about not being evolved inside of town? Fine, Asher, you want to come shopping? Yeah, I can come stopping with you. I should probably get some stuff from Magna anyways. I don't think he actually has protection. Probably not. Guess I'll down Digivolve. Mag just gonna poke out the door. He's like, I still down, have up, some! Down. I still have some! Magna, you're supposed to be kind of quiet for Ash, remember? Sorry, Ash. Apollo comes yeeted out of the room in a perfect parable as it flies and smacks Magna in the face. I'm sorry. Dr. Brioche, you guys want anything while we're out? No, nothing that I can think of. Brioche, what do you want me to pick up for dinner? I guess I'll just pick up something. Sorry, background. What, what, what do you want me to pick up for, for dinner, Brioche? Uh, probably a couple potatoes. Just potatoes? I can fix something with the stuff we already have here and more potatoes. Okay. It is always potatoes. God fucking. Chase is gonna go and scoop coins out of the chest while Char Charles isn't paying attention. Burn the potatoes, turn them to ash, ignore the pile of ash. There's no longer potatoes. That's all you need to do. Stop committing sins against my favorite food source. My second favorite. I like bread. Was that a summoning spell Magna was casting? Uh, as you wish, we shall, uh, purge everything so that potatoes cannot grow for you. <laughs> it wasn't meant as a summoning spell. <laughs> it's just the statement of, like, the steps you need to do to ignore the potatoes for the rest of your life. But I guess it's a summoning spell now. You want all the potatoes just for yourself? Okay. We'll feed them all to you. No, no, no. <laughs> Do you know this? So, who... Sorry, so who's hanging out on the town? Sounds like Riv, Asher, and Jace. I don't think anybody else is going with them.
Could you guys all give me a roll, please? Of which variety? We can absolutely give you a roll, but we kind of do need to know what what kind of roll. What kind of roll? Of the perception variety. Yes, everybody needs to give Kerr some bad rolls. Do I have perception? I do. It's almost another one. Rip and Asher on the same page. So, Jace, you mm -hmm. notice something as you're going through the streets. Mm hmm. It seems everyone is different. Everyone's acting nicer, almost. Like, there's no, there's no near the amount of like, um, Hostility. violence and such. Yeah, they're still dickish. They're they're still kind of dickish a little bit to each other, but it's there's none of that violence you saw before. The major source of corruption has been dealt with. Cool. I can trust buying a guitar and not worry that it's going to be made out of somebody that's been murdered. And if it has, I dealt with the murderer, technically, right? Uh, Justify yes. this purpose now. Jace, you can also give me a academics roll as well. I... Uh, can Riv help with that? Nope. Riv is not there necessarily. You went out on your own first. No, well, I think he got stopped with by me. Jace. Okay, then. J Jace uh, picked him up and made him go with him. Does, does Jace comment on this? Probably, yes. There you go. Group can. All right, take five dice. Thank you, because otherwise this is going to be kind of terrible. <laughs> Whoops, let me count here. Hold on. Five, you said? Five dice. He has five in academics. It would have been six if you were reading a book. <laughs> would have been nice if it rolled in the right place. There we go. Oh boy. Thank you, Riv. Hey, Riv just wants to help. <laughs> it's like, what, an eight? It's an eight. All right, Jace, uh, you have a very good hunch based on all this that with the major source of corruption dealt with, um the dickish the dickish levels will drop more and more until basically they start acting like normal digimon it might take a couple of days but in a couple of days everyone should be almost like what they were like at hope's bastion huh i'll just make a note and send it over the comms because we have fancy comm systems that i can just send that to everybody too without having to say things You got mail. It's not spam. Dang it, I meant to send that as a text message and I sent that as an email. I'm starting to look like Titus over here. Back in Titus my nice, day! Though. Titus is nice. He is, but he sends everything as a text message or as an email instead of a text message. He also seems to hold all these meetings when they could have been just emails. Please don't say that. That hurts me so much. <laughs> I know, which is why I said it. <laughs> because, yes, he does do that. Because nothing beats face-to-face -face contact and actually speaking with each other and touching base. That way we can ensure all of our ducks are in a row. And you can't do that with an email. This... This, this this meeting could have been an email. This email could have been a message. This message didn't need to be sent at all. I already knew the parameters of this project. 
Thank you. Go away. Um, we have so much oh, money have nothing to use it for. I was going to say, does anybody literally have anything that they want out of character? Because we can actually buy things. Uh, right now I think Asher's mostly content to just window shop. He doesn't really have much in the way of stuff that he's really looking for. Uh, I mean, Riv wouldn't mind getting access to at least, like, uh, a, a bit of, like, smithing tools. He can't light the fire himself like he used to, but, like, you know, we have Magna around and all that, so, I mean. Yeah, I mean, you'd be able to pick up smithing tools very easily here. Chase just wants a guitar again. He misses the guitar. They do have guitars. They have all manner of instruments. As long as nobody was murdered to create it. Which is a far... But the screams of the person make such a beautiful sound. I mean, if we're buying an electric guitar for me and I was playing some sort of grunge punk or metal, then maybe, but yeah, I just want an acoustic right now. Um, looks like there's some normal guitars. I'm going to pretend like nobody died to make these. <laughs> hey, Ashley, you should no. get a charging pack. No, no. No one died to make this guitar. They died to make the trees, which made the wood, which was eventually made into the guitar. But it's different. Think about it. Don't worry, it's not a Stradivarius. Ow. Jace, I bought a window. You, you bought a window? That's what Raijin said. Because Atra said he was content to window shop, so he bought a window. What did Jace recommend to Asher? Battery packs. Oh yeah, I should go get some. Do they have those? Um, they do indeed, yes. Also, portable generator. Yeah. And supplies for evil. <gasps> and a fog uh, machine. Don't buy a fog machine. They do have a fog machine. You're not going to be able to carry a fog machine. But you could carry it if Jace was bigger. You could give him a backpack and then you could just put it on his back and have the fog come off of him. Or if you hook well, it yeah, to but somebody's horns. A Asher wants it for himself because it's, you know... Fog is power. You could... You, they do have a fog machine for sale. Uh, do you have a smaller one? One that I can carry? Uh, the Digimon starts to search through before coming back with a little uh, backpack-sized one, like for a, a child-sized. Ew, why is it all pink and stuff? No, no, I, it's gotta be evil. He pauses and looks at it before glancing at you, and he comes back with a green one. I don't want to be poisoned! Asher. What? Come on. You don't need a fog machine. But it's power! But it's obviously green. Well, he yeah, comes back with, another, with a black one. Ah, now we're talking! See, this one'll work. Help me. Rev, help oh, me. Uh, what, what do you need help with? Telling Asher he doesn't need a fog machine. As the Digimon just smiles before flicking on the fog machine, and a large stream of fog begins coming out of both sides. Power. Power. Yes! So much power! If I let you get it, are you going to do the chores tonight? 
as he walks over and begins to put it on Asher's back, as the fog begins to stream off of him. Too late, Riv. We've lost him. I don't see the problem. Oh, just wait until it's night time and he's running around laughing and won't put it away. Nobody's getting sleep tonight. I found fog. So much fog. I can feel the power. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's our night. Let's 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 bring you to the library before Asher thinks of anything else. Oh wait, do they have other? Do they have more controllers for my uh, for my valve dock? Also, what's your name? <laughs> Uh, I'm, uh, uh, Goto. I am a uh, Gabumon. Hi. Nice to meet you. Goto, you said? Yes. I think we'll be best friends. Uh, is there anything else you need? Uh, let's see, uh, controllers. Yes, I need more controllers for this. That way Jace can play with me. Um, uh, what is this? It's a valve dock. What's a valve dock? Oh, right. Timeline stuff. Mm -hmm. Actually, I might have been made custom. I'm not sure. Uh, can I look at it? <laughs> he looks at them suspiciously. I just want to see how it works, so maybe we can figure out how to make it, or make something that will work with it. Eyes narrow. Okay... But if you break it, I break you. He'll nod and start to look through it. Huh. This is really cool and way more advanced than what we've seen before. Um, let's see. Uh, I think I could make some controllers for it. Oh. Why do I have a headcat and this guy's just going to pull out some GameCube controllers and press it against it until it works? <laughs> As 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 he be as Asher has set into motion the uh, events needed to have the valve dock be created. No, oh, so you're saying it's a closed loop? Okay. So, you got some controllers for it? Uh, I need a few hours of tinkering, but yeah, I think I can do something. Just remember, you break it and I will break you. Very slowly. Kill not his head. Very painfully. I am a god of death. I will make sure you suffer in the afterlife, too. Kill nod slowly. Okay, Jace, let's go. Come on, Riv, to the library. Is there anything else you would like to get? A death note would be nice. I mean, I, I did already ask if Riv could uh, pick up uh, a bit of, like, just a couple smithing tools. Yeah, I think he already said yes to that. 
Yeah, yeah, I just wanted yeah. to make sure. Yep. That he could like, you know, get what he needs. And then library for you. Yes. Grocery shopping. I'll see if any meat's on for sale or for sale. And potatoes for <laughs> brioche, but mainly library. Asher's coming yes, out of you... the grocery store with a pie. For dessert, buddy. Yeah, dessert for breakfast. No. I didn't have dessert with breakfast, though. We're about to have dinner. After dinner, you can have the pie. I mean, no, if you no, want to no, wait no. until tomorrow morning before having the pie, that's fine. No, no, from breakfast today. I didn't have dessert with that, so I need it now. No. Hmm. Fine. Then you don't get this. And he takes the bread. For dessert. I get to have it for dessert, right? We'll see. He just reaches into his bag and reaches into the limited bag or bag of bread and down the piece. <laughs> right, it is on one tonight. Oh no. It's the da 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 when you pulled out the bread. So much power on stream. Oh. <laughs> so much power! <laughs> Nobody's wow. sleeping tonight. Oh, definitely not. Which is probably a good thing for uh, with Spectre, considering he, he didn't do a very good job staying on watch last night. Wait, not even Asher's getting any sleep? Oh no, he's the one making sure we're not getting any sleep. Too much power. Sorry, I meant Ash. <laughs> Look, I tried Ash. to stop him, but I got no backup out here, okay? My field operative did not help me stop the fog machine from happening. Magnus over here with his boyfriend, and she's gonna hear this coming back. He's gonna be like, well, let's, let's go to your place. Gar will nod slowly. How are you hearing this when you're at the house and we're in town? No, 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 he's making the joke of when you come back. Yeah, when you come back, that's the joke. Of Asher just showing off the uh, fog machine and reveling in his new power. Which, by the way, he has not turned it off. He has constant fog now. Well, the fog machine's gonna run out of fluid so sooner or later, and I'm not gonna buy it more. Unless it's... Unless it's not a conventional fog machine. Which, in that case, doesn't mean Asher gets more points to stealth than normal. I... I think it'd be the opposite. I'm pretty sure people are going to notice a giant ominous fog cloud appearing out of nowhere. Well, yeah, they'll no notice the... hiding evil as it goes along. Yeah, so the logic is the fact being they'll see the cloud, but they won't know where Asher is inside of the cloud. Probably around where the Mahaha is happening. True. Well, back I go muted so y'all can continue the scene. I think that's it. So, 
What happens is you guys make it back to the manor now. After your day out on the town. Go for the eyes, well, I mean... Go for the eyes! Rusk! Well, let's let that resolve real quick. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure I already know what this is. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I will allow it. I was already thinking of possibly allowing it and then this just cements it. Quick question. Is it involving the fog machine? Yup. The fog yeah. machine out change air data into liquid data in order to continuously power itself so long as it's on. No sleep. Got it. Oh, fog machine. Perfect thing to put potatoes in. <laughs> the only time potatoes are friends. Uh, some of the humans are also looking very interested at the fog machine when you guys get back. Jace will hand over the food he picked up to Brioche, with everybody gathering around the fog machine. Uh, what about the library? I oh, yes. Say, there is also Sorry. Sorry. Uh, what do you want to find at the library, Riv? Uh, Riv is going to be looking for books on, uh, or any information reports, even just like journal entry things. On things uh, related to the data killer, uh, like, you know, any reports of, like, you know, the times before, uh, and also just, like, of general things that are of, you know, interest to the party. So also probably things on, like, Darknet if it's there. All right. Give me a academics roll. All right. <laughs> Since we're in a library, he'll activate bookworm. Five, six, seven, one, twelve. <laughs> oh wow! Uh, look at all those ones. Uh, I'm a soul. All right, so that would become. One, two, three. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna will that. That 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 ends up being a three after re-rolling two ones. Uh, ten and soul that one. Okay, now that changes things. Uh, now I'll vigor push that to have those nines explode. <laughs> All right, so that ends up coming one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There is no sign at all of the data killer in here, or anything that has to do with the, that far in the past. All right. Um, you can find some information on like the other towns and stuff, but anything that has to do with what you faced or on the past of this world, you don't find. It's not here. Okay. Uh, 
cool. So he can mostly just find things about, like, uh, current events, things of that nature. Is he able to find anything about the X? Or Proto-X? Nope. Uh, actually, a little bit on the Proto-X, mostly just, like, they are dangerous creatures that can delete Digimon. But no one's done, like, an in-depth study of what they are. Mostly because they're so dangerous to people. Hmm. Okay, okay. It's like, yeah, we could try, but if they touch anyone, they just instantly die, so it doesn't really work out that well. I guess that would make it a, a little bit harder than uh, otherwise desired. <laughs> Alright, uh, so in that case, yeah, that'll, that'll probably be, like, all he's really looking for. He'll just take pretty much whatever he can get. And then, you know, kind of kind of just call it good. <clears throat> he doesn't find everything he wants, but at least he knows he knows a bit more about, like, the local kind of stuff. Because, he, he, you know, if he's going to be finding that stuff while looking for the other shit, he's, you know, going to be looking through that as well. All right. So what are you looking for in specific? Uh, well, they now have access to the map, but he does want to know, like, you know, what each one is known for, if any are going through any sort of, like, you know, downturns, or, like, you know, having troubles with anything in particular. Uh, either so that way they know where to go to help if they want to help people, and also know where to go to avoid things if they want to be avoidant of some things. Sorry, looking for my pile real quick. Where is it? There it is. I had to find it. It was not cooperating with me. All right. So. Let us see. So you have the other, vill the other villages. You have... Right now you're in Askin Vale. There is uh, First Doll, which is uh, further in, a little bit to the southwest. Um, it is a fairly large town, uh, pretty popular, honestly. Um, they say that you can basically find almost anything in First Doll. All the new trends happen there, and... It is the place where if you want to be popular and uh, it's Charles's town, let's put yeah. it that way. It's the Charles town. Got it. Uh, further to the west uh, at the coast is Darlin. Uh, Darlin is basically kind of like the little sea trade around the island. Um also trade in a lot of things you can only get through the water and the sea like seafood that sort of thing um Darylin is also in charge of like keeping track of wealth and such uh, a lot of banking is in Darylin. um but otherwise they, they're they're just kind of like these sea traders is kind of what you could think of them as um okay Michael is the leader of Forestall, and according to this book, a metal Cedramon named Soros runs Darylin. Um Then there is Miravale, which is a little bit to the northeast of here. Um, closer to the north, just a tad bit east. It, it wouldn't take you out of the way, really, to get there from here. It's the next closest town. 
Um, Demi is there. Miravale is said to be a town of uh, seers, fortune tellers, and Digimon who basically plumb the supernatural aspects of the digital world. They tend to be used as, so it's said to be, uh, cleansers when items become corrupted by uh, data of the Digimon who once owned it, or say, making sure a Digimon's data doesn't turn into a very dangerous ghost type. Um, they're also said to be fortune tellers and to tell the future to Digimon who want to hear it. Uh, they are sought out for many reasons by those who are powerful to see if their next venture or their uh, next goal is something that is possible or not. No one's for sure if they actually can do it or not, but they've made a lot of money and no one fucks with them because everyone wants their services. Alright, and that is one of the great five? That is one of the big five, yes. Miravale. Right. Um, and then far to the northeast is Ashward. Ashward is separate from the big five in it doesn't usually actively trade with them. Um, Ashward is very reclusive and it is also very xenophobic. If any Digimon that is not a member of Ashward's town tries to enter its territory, they will usually shoot first to drive them off, or if they refuse and keep trying to come, they will shoot to kill. Uh, most of the other villages just give them a wide berth and think they're fucking crazy. And don't try to really do much with Ashward. Uh, but there are occasions where a Digimon from Ashward will come out, and that is when many of the leaders will give them VIP treatment to try to learn everything they possibly can about their rival because they don't know what's going on behind the closed gates of Ashward. Um, noticeably, Ashward is ruled by a Apollomon named Ray. Their town is built up in the mountains. Noticeably on this map, uh, if you looked at it, it would be near where uh, Hope's Bastion was. Okay, interesting. Uh, those are the big five, though, for the villages. Um, there are smaller towns and such of Digimon, but most of these are more like farming towns and villages of maybe, maybe 50 to 100 Digimon at most. Um, really, it, it's not much to write home about. These are more like just, they pay their taxes, they grow food, and they're just kind of self-sufficient. There are traders who go through sometimes, and they'll trade goods and such. Or travel to, like, one of the other nearby little villages if there's nothing that they can really get. Um, but otherwise... They are very kind of self-sufficient. They don't really do much. They're not against outsiders. It's just for them, if you live in this village, you just grow up in the village. Eventually, you'll die in the village. Like, why do they need to leave, basically? Um, th that, that's sort of their mentality. It's, very, it's a very close-knit community, even, like, as corrupted as it probably would be. They are a close-knit, tight community. And then, finally, there is the capital. Um, the capital, uh, most people don't seem to refer to it as a, with a name. Um, they just call it the capital. Um, you're not sure why it's not written down in the book. Uh, but the capital is based in specifically in the mountains past Ashward. Um, it is said to be a great walled city. A city of silver, white, and blue. It is the most breathtaking place to look upon. Only the most affluent, powerful, or 
useful Digimon are allowed there. Every other Digimon is expected to give up some of their data as a tax to the capital every year. If the Digimon doesn't have the data to survive the tax, then usually that will destroy them or cause their bodies to break apart and have to restart as an egg. Mm. Uh, why this tax is done, no one knows. And this is also every Digimon either visits the capital uh, when they either after they hatch or someone from the capital comes to them to apply the seal markings to them that the High King is said to use to control them and can use to kill them if they get out of line. Was there anything else you wish to learn? Uh, no, that should be good for now. All right. Uh, he would be, like, checking out, like, some of these books that he wants to look into more, which is probably, like, some of the more local ones. And he is actually going to write it down and leave a note for uh, Gar, which ones he took. Okay. Go ahead. Alright, is there anything else you want to do in the library before you head back? Uh, probably not. All right. Then I believe you guys can all head on back to the uh, manor. And that is where we will have... Uh, Brain, please work. Uh, Jay's handing off this up to Brioche. Groceries handed over. Jace is going outside the back. He'll be out there with his guitar away from Asher and whatever madness he's about to cause in the house. Have fun, guys. Bye. What darkness is Asher about to unleash? Why does everybody think he's going to unleash a horrible darkness of death and decay? Evil. Is he not? I didn't say that, I just said, why do they think he's going to? Because of exactly what you said. He's evil, right? Spectre! Spectre! What is it? Look what I got! I have POWER! Okay. They just goes to ignoring you. If I knew you were coming, I'd have baked your cake. How did you do? How did you do? How did you do? Okay. <laughs> what the f Oh, hey Toshi, man. Good <laughs> food. Uh, you okay, Spectre? Yeah, Spectre's fine. Why are you referring to yourself in the third person? Imagine. 
Well, I guess I'll go see, uh... He's gonna go barge into Magnus' room. Quick question. Kurt. Um, uh, Answer. Asher. Would Magna... Would Magna have had a chance to hear uh, them come back and um, Asher saying, I have power? Roll a perception roll. Ooh, yay. Um, that is seven dice. So please let the gods be merciful for this. I ask and I don't receive vessel one. Nope. Okay. Magda! You can no longer mess with me, for I have power! Magnus As he's preceded by a cloud of fog. Magnus is gonna poke his head out the door because he can see a little bit of fog sneaking underneath. He's like, is that smoke? Opens the door. Asher burst into the room. Oh, Asher burst into the room? Okay, it's like, what do you mean? I have the power! Magnus is gonna look with just wide eyes. He's like, We're not sleeping tonight, are we? Well, only if you have protection. <gasps> I forgot to get the protection! That's Asher is running not... back out of the house towards town. Magnus is going to turn straight to guard and like, we should probably get out of here. Trust me. Gar? Gar is just staring at this. We should run when we have a chance to get out of here. He nods very slowly. Your place, let's go. He will nod very slowly and get up and start creeping towards the door. No, 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 no. He'll, he'll see us. The window. Has Asher already left the house and is running back towards town? Magnus is paranoid at this moment, so he's not thinking straight. Does he ever think straight? Probably not. I would assume he thinks gay. Lamau. Lamau. But you're not wrong. How do we get out of here? How do we get past that? Mac just gonna look out. It's like, oh, wait, he's gone. Out the front door. Let's go. Quick. Quick. <laughs> Asher, where are you on off to next? Well, first he's going to look for uh, protection for Magna and uh, Gar. <laughs> so probably back to the same place where he uh, left his uh, Valve Dock. Uh, he's just finishing up with it. Oh, excellent! Um, also, I, I need... Uh, uh, a firewall upgrade stuff. 
Protect them! Uh, okay, I can do that. As he'll get you a CD disc. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna need two of them. He'll get two. Excellent! <laughs> Thank you! Also, what did you do with my dock? As he pulls out a couple of controllers and shows you that you can now connect them to the Valve dock. Yeah, he's got the Macrosoft protection. <laughs> you can now have up to four players. Yes! Now they can play with me! <laughs> now to go find Magna. Thank you! You'll nod after you pay for everything. As Asher's just heading for the door without actually paying. Uh, you still need to pay for everything. Oh! I thought it was a tithe for me as your god of death. Mm, nope. Nope, still gotta pay. Oh. But Jace has the money. Then you can put the stuff here on the counter and go get him. Or call him. Oh yeah, I can call him. Okay. As Asher is just sitting in the shop with the fog machine continuously going. <laughs> and he's calling up a chase. Chase has to figure out how to answer this thing, ends up bashing at the helmet until it answers. Connection. What? Ah, uh, I need. Uh, yes, yes, um, I need money. We just got home, what'd you, why? Well, I forgot the protection for Magna and Gar, and also I need to pay for the, uh, for my, my valve dock and stuff. Did you not grab money before you left? No. Can't you just come back and get money and go back out? My legs are painted on. But but do you have the money? I have some of the money. <laughs> Fine, I'm coming. But you give me that bread. I know you still have it. Okay. So yeah, Asher hangs up and... Wait! Do you have like a portable uh like like uh screen that i could like unfold or something to uh make this bigger because the screen's kind of small for four people he pauses for a moment before snapping his fingers and going into the back before coming out with something and handing it to you it looks like it's a foldable screen How big does it get? Uh, he taps it a few times and it becomes a 64 inch TV sized. Cool. I also need a generator. Something to produce power. Because the fog is power, but I need more power. Chill nod and go and uh, show you various sizes of generators. <laughs> you can almost hear the ding in his head of the. Uh cash register of, oh, that, I'm about to get paid. And yes, you have various generators of which you can choose one. Various this sizes and power ranges. This kid must be from Surus. He's got money. Okay, if he wants to spend it here, I'm all for that.
Okay, so we got. Uh, I need one that I can carry. What about uh, well, what about what about this strobe light uh, extension to your fog machine that you can attach to it and have strobe lights playing through the uh, smoke? He tilts his head at it and shakes his head. No, that, I, I don't need that. Kill nod. But this will work. What is this? Oh, he picked out one of the generators. Kill nod. Excellent, excellent. Anything else I can get for you? Uh, no, I think that'll be it. As he goes over to the uh, door looking for Jace. Jace is taking his time, dang it. <laughs> Just casually walking along. Brings up Jace. It takes him a while to remember how to answer the stupid thing. Are you coming? <laughs> yeah. Okay, because I got stuff and I need to get it and it's going to be great. How much stuff? I got a screen and a generator and power banks and controllers and... Uh, yeah. Buddy, why? So we can play together. That's cute, but that sounds like a lot and expensive. It's okay, we had a whole bunch of money that we got. And? We have to carry this stuff, you know. And by we, I mean me. I specifically got travel size stuff gonna kill me, buddy. I'll be there soon. Okay, hurry up! I'm gonna have to control Ash for spending here by making sure that things are actually curable, because if they're not, I'm not buying them, because I'm gonna have to hold that. Yeah, no, this is, a, this is a fairly large chunk of change. Like, you're still going to have quite a bit of money left, but this is going to buy into the finances a little bit. Okay, first of all, we don't need a folding screen that big. If I, I guess if you can get, like, a smaller one, maybe fine. Do, do you really need a generator this big? Like, can't we just get a hand crank generator or something small? That should be all we but, really need. We should be packing light if we're going to be going as far as we're going. But if we pack... If we don't have this, then how are we going to power things? And how's what? the hand crank going to work for the, for the TV? We don't need... What about a solar panel? We can always just hook it up via batteries. But then what about the night? It'll charge the batteries during the day, and then we use them during night. Okay... Just, I can't... Buddy, I can't carry all this. We're not, we're not gonna carry all this. But I was gonna no carry it. Will die. Oh, buddy, you're not gonna be able to carry all this. Well, you know, you could buy a cart, and maybe some... Uh, animals to pull it. <sighs> we'll wait until the whole group is here. You you stay out of this point, said the shopkeeper. That's I, a great I idea! What I was just saying. We'll discuss it with the group and make sure everybody's on board with such a purchase first. Buddy, you were spending quite a bit as is. <laughs> but but if we get all if we get that we can also bring extra food supplies. And other survival stuff? Yeah, sure. And a whole bunch of bread! Yeah, sure. <laughs> we'll name it Shrek! Oh god, no, Asher. <laughs> who showed you that terrible thing? Like, the only person who could would have been Riv, because he has access to the internet. Who showed you those memes? That those things would be gone. Ugh. 
Actually, no, uh, Asher does have access to through his valve dock. Look, 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 Asher. Smaller screen. We'll get some solar panels. That way we can carry it if the group decides not to have a cart. And we'll talk to the group about a cart when everybody's available, okay? Wait! I can bring them all up! Asher. What? We can meet in person for this one. Do 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 Oh my god. Hello. So we've got more fan art. Oh no. What does the disc say? The disc says make affy. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's going to break in about 10 seconds after you put it to use. Raijin, the only thing I have to say is I love the fact that we're the same height. Let's go. <laughs> We're the same height. Woo. Don't worry, the disc doesn't have to last. It works just like HMO one. <laughs> As everyone gets a message. <laughs> My name is Gar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Those you just great. saw the fan art? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I was checking uh, my notes. Oh, also, mm. um, when uh, Jace does pay the guy, Asher is going to go up and uh, take 10% of it. Wait, so effectively only paying 90%? Yes. Touche, Raijin. Touche. But that's stealing. No, it's a tithe. Look, you called everybody. You can you can talk to everybody. <laughs> Wait, I called everybody? Is this a video call or is it just a voice call? I don't know, I thought you were gonna call everybody. Well, yeah, Asher said he was going to, and then Jay said no, and then Kerr started doing the ringing thing, so I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> oh no, everyone was getting called. Okay, so we, so it's not Asher calling everybody. No, it, it is Asher calling everybody. No, Jay said uh, Jay got Asher not to. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Sorry, got confused. Yeah, we don't we don't need to discuss a purchase in the shop in front of the shopkeeper who's going to do everything in his power to convince us to make the purchase. No, we'll I'll pay. You can go ahead and try to charge him your tithes if you really want, but I'll pay and then we're leaving. Oh, Asher just takes the 10%. I'll be back. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, it's the tithe of the church. No, this and is... And Asher is heading for... out of the door. He's going to look over at Jace. Jace just gives him a look like, I don't know what the hell just happened here. <laughs> then he glances down at the money that's left before looking back at Jace and talking an eyebrow. You literally let somebody just walk out the door after stealing from you? I figured you would cover the rest of it. Uh, 
Honey, how do you stay in business like this? Come on, Chase! We gotta go ask everybody about the cart! Chase will give him the rest of the money and be like, next time, maybe, you know, say something and not just let people take things out of your hands. Oh, if you didn't cover it, I would have uh, activated the kill switch and turned off his fog machine and that uh, strange little device he has. Turning off the fog machine's absolutely fine. You ever touch my son's uh, game machine? Mm -hmm. That won't be the only kill switch that gets flicked tonight. But thank you for telling me that the fog machine has a shut off button. Bye. <laughs> Chase does not want to deal with Asher without his game system. <laughs> Just like All right. parent. the guy take the, the guy activates that kill switch and uh, suddenly Asher is able to make a digivolve. <laughs> or digivolve to make an evolution. You dare to de harm my game system? Be smited! So, this is how the world ends. Because of a Valve Dock. Yes. Yes, until somebody throws Asher into the data sea. <laughs> but yes, uh, nothing too much happens as, you, as Jace and Asher makes their ways back to the manor to uh, discuss these things with the rest of the group. Okay, so, Spectre! Brios! Brave! Magna! Wait, where's Magna? Uh, probably still upstairs. <laughs> Meanwhile, Magna's like down the street, around the corner, just running to Gar's house. Go, go, go! Run, run, don't look back! Don't look back! I'm tiny! What can I do? Well, I'll deal with uh, Magna later, since he's not here apparently. Once again, he's left us with, uh, you, you know, gone off on his own. We're gonna have to deal with that. Uh, but anyways, Riv, Rios, Spectre! We should get a cart. Uh, why a cart? So we can carry supplies. And other things. Doesn't Jace normally just carry everything? Typically, yes, and I have a feeling if we get a card, I'm going to end up pulling it, but he wanted to get a bigger screen, and he wanted to get more supplies, and he wanted to get a generator, and he wanted to get... Well, no, 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 they said that they would come with animals to pull it. I don't really so know what those are, another, but... We're getting another Renamon to push, pull the cart. I mean, I don't know if we really want animals. You have to feed those and stuff. Oh. So we're getting another Renamon to pull the cart? Well, where would we get a Renamon at this hour? This time of year? Probably whatever shopkeeper you're getting the cart from. I mean, we can figure that out later, but, uh, just between you and me, Riv, I think that Jace is getting a little old, and so I think his back is giving out or something. Ow? 
Excuse me, boy. What? I still have ears, thank you. Isn't the whole room like over a thousand and then the same as Titus? Jace isn't that old. Thank you. Well, it's not my fault that you're refusing to carry stuff. So that's why we should get a wagon. I'm not... He, the, they're... <sighs> Even carrying light, excuse me. A necessity. No, you don't. Otherwise, you would have let me get the bigger TV. That would produce lots of light. Why do you need a TV? I don't think I get it. Oh, so we can play lots of games together. Why do you need the TV? Can Couldn't you just, I don't know, like... You know, we we can already do like some kind of like visual screen share thing. Why can't we just do that? I share stuff with you guys all the time. Well, because I don't know how to tap into that thing with my valve dock. Plus, we could get some couches for the wagon and just have a really cool, comfy setup. Buddy, a wagon doesn't isn't an apartment. You don't put couches on it. You just use it to carry supplies. Okay, we will get supplies that are suspiciously fluffy and comfy. Yeah. All right, time to make it cart van. Hashtag van life. Are we making a cannon cart to go around in? Oh, no. No, I'd rather not make a bodega. Just imagine, you can have van life, road trip across the digital world. Why would we put all that effort into a bodega if we're just going to go back in the future and leave it here? Oh no, we're taking it with us. Because we'll know where we parked it in the past. A thousand years I... sitting somewhere is going to destroy anything we leave behind and attended. No, all we need to do is get into the mountain. Oh wait, I saw that movie, yeah! We can just uh, seal it away in a cave and it'll be perfectly fine. Look, if y'all get Spectre to sign off on this, sure, whatever. But good luck there. Asher's going to the kitchen. And he is retrieving potatoes. And the pie. He is getting a slice of the pie. And the potatoes. And going to Spectre. Hey, Spectre. What is it? So I, I thought I'd bring... He uh, reads a book. So first off, here, here's a nice slice of pie for you. Thought you might be a little hungry. Also brought you some potatoes. Cox eyebrow. Cox other eyebrow. What do you want? 
Oh, uh, well, you see, uh, I was thinking that we should get a, uh, wagon to carry stuff around, uh, you know, supplies and other good survival stuff. Okay. Well, I mean, that's not a bad idea, but why bring it up now? Well, we do have, uh, we're about to go off on a journey, and, uh, we've also got a bunch of money from the, uh, from ass, and so, you know, might as well use it to invest in our future and for more comfortable travels. Yeah. Lowers one eyebrow so one remains cocked. Comfortable, huh? What's comfortable? Well, I was thinking we'd have some uh, nice cushions and stuff in there, and uh, we could play games while the wagon's trun uh, going along. And of course, all the supplies and stuff, you know, food and water and uh, bandages, medicine. Now, where do you intend on putting all that stuff? In the wagon. Okay, where do you intend on putting all your stuff? Also in the wagon. How big is the wagon? Uh, we'll get one big enough for that. What did Jay say? He said I have to ask you. <sighs> Alright, but I come to choose the wagon. Okay, let's go. Chase, he said yes. Really, and you told him you're trying to buy a bodega? I don't know what a bodega is. No, it's not a yes, it's a maybe. We don't even know what kind of wagons they have, and we are emphasizing supplies over comfort. I personally don't feel like starving on the way. I might be using the wrong word. A bodega, if I recall, is a lifted chair, I think. There was, I don't remember what the name of the thing that's basically a, a house on a cart. There's a word for that. No, bodega, a bodega is was a, a market. Yeah, it's a market. Yeah. What word am I screwing this up with then? RV? <laughs> no, it's not an RV because there used to be these house carts that people would live on way back in the day. It was often times you'd see in the circus. Yeah, I know what it is. Let me just open it up. Inspector goes up to Jay's. Jay's. Yeah. Yep. Why did you allow Asher to have a smoke machine? I didn't. Trust me, I tried to stop it. Right. Unfortunately, we're in the time where there's salespeople, and unfortunately, I couldn't get the salesperson to shut up for five moments for me to say no. And where's Eventually, Charles I just gave up. Days? I don't know. I you think know. he's sleeping with, and yet an, you know, who. And yet another missed golden opportunity for him to apply his trade. Oh, he'll have plenty of time. I was thinking about signing him after the man after we're done. Might not be a bad idea. Maybe try to reclaim some of what we've lost. Either way, those fog machines are going on the outside of the wagon. Maybe we can pretend they're like, I don't know, rocket engines or something. Are you thinking of a Vardo wagon? Yes. The gypsy wagon. 
Yeah, I was thinking of that. That's exactly what I was thinking of, a Vardo. The Romani. <laughs> Wagon. All right, where's your wagons? Let's go. <laughs> go back to the shopkeep. No, hey, no, no. Man. I, there's no way he also sells wagons. Apparently he does, because he's the one that... Look, I'm pretty sure this is one of those businessmen that'll make anything happen. General yeah, Go Goto said that... Uh, I, I, he said that there was somebody else that would do it. All right, let me talk to him. Okay. Also, he's a really good sport about paying his tithes, so, you know, I'm sure he's all good. He didn't oh, pay his tithes. He made me pay him the money you took. What do you mean? I, I'm i going to try, because Charles has been teaching me a little bit of that um that silver tongue in our off time. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it on him. Good sir and or madam, I'm told that you have some wares to sell. The guy with on just kind of looks at Spectre. Uh, yeah, I heard you guys wanted a wagon. No, you want to sell us a wagon. Asher just leans Ooh. over to Jace. Ooh, he's really good. Yeah, that's Come actually on. the correct response there. I just figured a cart might be uh, useful considering how much the little guy was buying. Hmm, maybe. What's your selection? And why should I care? Because uh, I have quite a few carts and some of the best in town. Okay, what makes him so good? Uh, high quality and they won't fall apart. Also, they right. come with a uh, uh, Digimon who will assist in uh, pulling it for you. Okay, how much do they add to the cost? They're working to the cost already. Oh, they're working the cost, so they come free. Mm-hmm. What do we have to pay the Digimon afterwards? No, it's it's included in it. Uh, most of these Digimon absolutely love the job. So sure. they usually just take it with it. You are, of course, expected to help feed them and everything and support them and not do anything to hurt them. Then, good sir and or madam, we are looking to get a cart. Well, you're looking to sell us a cart that can hold both supplies and comfort. What do you have? Uh, he will nod and lead you over to another uh, room. And it's filled with, like, very small carts that might be used for, like, oh, just a little journey with, like, a horse pulling it type thing. Versus much larger carts that look like they are made to move a lot of uh, luggage and other items. Basically, like a caravan almost, uh, mm -hmm. size cart, and everywhere in between. All right, so um, Spectre kind of like he, he gives all of them a cursory glance. Hmm. I want that one. And he points towards his uh, smallest cart that he's got. I don't think that will do very do much with your how many uh, there are here. This will only seat two. All right. So what do you got for the others? Sell me. Otherwise, I'm taking that small cart and I'm going to do what I will with it. I would recommend something like this as he points to one of the much larger ones. Basically, it's almost like the perfect size for hosting about six Digimon and all of Asher's stuff that he wants. It's larger, sure. 
So what about it? It is going to be much easier to put everything that you wish to carry as well as host all the Digimon who might be in your party. Sure. But that's not really selling it. I've decided I want that small card. You want to sell me this card. So why should I care about this card? Well, if you want to get the smaller one, feel free. You're not going to get any use, uh, much use out of it, but... As they say, the customer is always right in matters of taste. It's not a matter of taste. How much is your bigger card? And how much is your smaller card? It's about double, but it's also a much larger card as well. Okay. I'll take the uh, bigger card for a third off. <laughs> uh, no. Mm, I see. There's no reason for me to sell at a discount. I have already right. have fairly low prices compared to anywhere else. Then we'll go to somewhere else, then. Have yourself a good day, sir. Nowhere else has carts. This is this. Oh, but this he is... just told me that there are competitors. I'm sure one of them would be willing to sell me the cart. Not for my sizes. Well, you didn't sell yourself out very well. So are you going to sell me a cart, or are you going to continue pretending to sell me a cart? Usually I deal with customers who know exactly what they want already. That's great. Are you going to sell me a cart? Or am I going to go to someone else? I would be happy to sell you this cart. This okay. is the price. I don't like that price. Yes, and I need to make ends meet. I can't afford to sell something at a loss. So you're selling it at exactly the amount you need in order to make any kind of a profit. One gold coin, or whatever your currency is, above margin. I'm selling it for what I need in order to pay for it. The materials that went into building it, the time it's been here, mm -hmm. and as well as a little something so that I can actually have a profit. Yes. And yet you're not going to get anything if you don't sell it. I don't there like will that be price. There will be other Digimon that I can sell to. But I mean, great. you can sell very... them then. Actually, you just said that part of the price was the how long it's been here, which kind of implies that it's been here a while. I don't know if there'll yeah. be others. Now you can continue telling me that this cart, you know, you gotta sell it at exactly this price. Or you can actually go with the program. Maybe knock it down a little we, bit. We don't barter we like this. It. We don't barter like this. This is the price of the item. Then I'm going to go to someone else. I don't like your price. And your card, I guess, can sit here for, I don't know, another... Judging by the dust on it, uh, a year, maybe two, before somebody else becomes interested enough to buy in it. I absolutely believe that Charles taught him how to do this. You will wave a hand and uh, walk back over to his counter. Okay. So, Spectre is gonna he's just gonna make a show. He's gonna go towards the door. He's gonna go back to the others. Well, it doesn't look like he really wants to budge. So we're gonna steal it, and then he gets nothing. Uh, uh why are we going to steal a cart? Mostly because we did save this town, and they owe us. Then why don't we just cart. why don't we just ask Holru for the cart? Well, we could, but I think an IOU is very much in uh, in very much appropriate for a stubborn shopkeeper. Okay, okay, come on, guys, let's just go back to the house. Enough <laughs> with the nonsense. Come on, children, come on. Oh, no, I like this idea. 
Oh my god, goodness gracious, you guys. Playing hardball is one thing. Stealing something, let's let's not. We don't have to just steal, steal. We'll just notify Horu we have chosen our reward and we're going to move along. Horu can deal with it. I think that still counts as stealing. It's borrowing in an extended duration. I think that's called stealing. No, Charles told me it's not. Charles is the wrong, worst person <laughs> to discuss what is and is not stealing. Look, he wasn't even willing to knock down one coin. One measly coin. Are you saying you want this guy to get away with this? Uh, Jace, you know that Digimon usually have fixed prices. They don't barter usually like that. Yeah. Look, the... Okay, so I, I really wish you guys wouldn't have gotten that from Charles. Uh, most Digimon don't. I mean, look, certain businesses might do the bartering thing, but most of them don't, and usually not talking? for things like this. What are you talking about? Most of them don't, and Hope Bastion they did. People bartered yeah, all the time. Because we had to. That's then. That's not. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Scarce resources. Well, Scarce resources make it better. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. Hmm. Well, do we happen to know any competitors around here? No. Like let's let's go let's go take a quick look around and see if we can find one. He, he lead, mentioned that there are. Lead the way. So, uh, we're gonna go around looking for our competitor. Is there one? Uh, there are. Uh, most of them are only selling very small, like, uh, basically like a cart a family might use for one or two people transporting uh, maybe a little bit of stuff into town. Like, they're not very large. They're, they're built for very small use. So, none well, of them are selling sense. the... So none of them are selling any carts at all in the range that the other guy is. So we oh. more or less have to buy it from him. Uh, it Why? doesn't... It looks like the ones who do have the larger carts are basically the merchants who are... Looks to be mostly using them. Okay. You but could try and get them, one then... off... Yeah, you could try and get one off of them. Like, they could sell it, but... Uh, the odds are not necessarily the best for trying to do that, uh, because they, they, these would be part of their livelihood, so they would probably ask for a decent price. You well, know, we could just skip on buying them entirely and get it not here. No, that's actually that. Uh, that's actually an interesting point. Um, hmm. Because I'm not gonna buy it for that full price. Charles said you never buy things at full price. Well, Charles is also an idiot, so... That got all his information not off of actual pre-war buying things, but from magazines where a bunch of people tell you how to be an idiot. Well, maybe there's something to it. Not really. Like... Okay, so there's certain markets and stuff where, yes, you do the bartering thing, but that's not common that's that's a few in, in between kind of thing like you don't you don't go to the uh, brioche do you got do you got ways to explain this in better terms wait i got an idea what if we were to buy a big one with a bunch of supplies inside? Negotiate yeah, sells the supplies at full price too. We 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 can negotiate for them to uh, you know, cut us a deal for buying their entire stock, and then these people wouldn't need their cart as well. That all of the supplies inside are bought. Buddy, that's a lot of money. We got a big chest full of money. Not anymore. Not after the oh. fog machine and everything. 
I still say we steal it. I just think I mean, if we're going, tomorrow. why would we steal it when we, we, we have, we, the whole room owes us. He even said if there's anything that he could do for us to let him know. Well, exactly. We just, I mean, we could yeah. go back in and just tell the guy that. Or we could just go to Horu, or we could just not bother either of them and just leave them an IOU, like I want to. I mean, honestly, I don't I don't even think we need a cart to begin with. It seems kind of an extra thing to have around, especially when we won't well, have it that long. I do, I do have to agree with Asher on this one. We're going to other towns, right? Yeah. I ain't walking. I did plenty of that back over at Hope's Bastion and from regions there of after. I think if if there's anything we earned after all the BS, and he, he kind of emphasizes BS, is we deserve maybe a little bit of comfort. And if that comfort comes in the form of not having to traverse on my, on my paws and all your claws, Maybe that's worth it. Then if it's worth it, is it worth the money? And uh, not for me, that price. You wanted me Charles to explain? Says. Yeah, I'm just trying to think of a better way to explain that the barter system is not something that's commonly done unless there's a... Like, you barter when the thing doesn't have an intrinsic set value, kind of. Mm. Uh, maybe you can word it better. Look, I it's been years. Maybe if somebody fixes a fancy meal and you decide you want that meal, you're yeah. going to pay the price that's listed. This isn't going to be a yard sale where you can go up and say, hey, I want it for that price. But I don't like that price. Then you don't get the thing. Hmm, I see. Then why was, you know, Brioche, why were you always complaining about dying and dashers? Because we're at Hope's Bastion and resources were scarce. Look, I mean, I I think I get what you two are trying to say, but it's he's got a cart. We need a cart. We can easily get the cart without having to pay the full price. So what's the deal? I mean, I just don't get why we're trying to steal it when we can just ask Colru for it, or even for a better cart. Polar could probably get us a way better cart. I mean, I guess if nobody wants to go the fun way, fine. But we'll, I guess we can ask Horu. I, I just, I, I just don't get the point about trying to steal things off of people when we're also just now finally able to make it so that way they aren't, you know, evil anymore. And if we start doing stuff like that, they may want to brand us with the sigil. The sigil after saving their town? I mean, I think that's more of an Ash thing, and that's not something I want on me, thank you. I mean, if the all townspeople right. complain about us. Well, I mean, they were complaining about us from the start. I don't think they even noticed we existed until now. Well, I guess let's go ask Koru then. But I'm not paying full price for the cart, and that's final. Duke. Let's go ask Koru before this conversation mm. continues. Uh, Koru is at his desk looking over uh, much paperwork in books as you guys come in. Dear sir oh. and or madam, we want a card. Holler <laughs> just kind of stares for a moment. Normally you start with hello. Hello everybody, how are you all doing today? Um, you, you can kind of see Spectre's like looking at the palm of his hand where assumedly he's like written something. <laughs> I am smudge. He's uh, trying to learn bartering the wrong way. 
Hi. Hey. We I want... Uh, what is it? Art. No. Cart. And apparently you're the guy we have to talk to to, to get one. Uh, because yes. I they don't want to pay. I don't know. I still like the idea of stealing it. No, no, not I would stealing. Steal I owe you it. Oh, right. I owe you it. I don't. I don't get why we would steal it if we literally. Well, no, not stealing. I owe you. We don't need it's to do stealing. I... Chase just puts a puts a hand to his head. All right. Hi, Holru. So, as you can see, we got a little bit of an <laughs> argument going on where we looked at cards. Spectre thinks they are too expensive. And we did. We kind of are owed at least a little bit of a reward, and I think a cart is the least this town can do. <clears throat> a big cart! We could use a big cart because people don't want to walk, apparently. With blackjack and hookers! Well, Asher! That. What? I saw it in a show! Anyway, will you be able to help us get that cart? He nods. I believe I can do so, yes. Okay. Um, Thank and you. Spectre <laughs> looks at his other hand. Ank, ooh. Sir and or madam, your purchase today has been very much appreciated. And I hope you have a vacuum sucking day. And Spectre will walk out. Okay, let's just go home and eat and then go to bed because after that, I think I need like the longest sleep I've ever had. <laughs> oh. He, he pauses and looks at you, Jace, before getting up. He walks over, taps a few spots on the wall as it slides open, and out of it comes a very large wine rack. He kind of looks at it for a moment, reaches up, pulls off a bottle of wine, and walks over and offers it to you. Oh, thank goodness. Sweet oh. reprieval. Oh, oh, no. I, I know how to handle this. Uh, got anything stronger? 600-year-old. Why? I, I think this will be good, buddy. That means the grapes were geriatric. You need it more than I do. He says as he looks just straight at Jace. It is that look of, I understand your suffering. I'm sorry, Jace. It's okay. I had children. <laughs> As Asher is still walking around with the fog machine still going. Let's let's get home. Let's eat. And then I'm going to take this bottle and a lot of bread. And uh, we'll oh, see where I wake I want, up in the morning. I want to visit the, sh the cart man once more. But why? For a minute For there, me. I thought you were going to say you were going to shove that bottle of wine into the fog machine. Because I don't like him, and I want to see his face when we take the card for free. But we're... Holru's gonna get it for us. Maybe even a better one. Ooh! With the blackjack and hookers? Whatever those are? <sighs> okay, so Asher, blackjack is a card game that involves gambling. Kind of like one of those gambling games you that you lose all the time in your machine and get angry about. Yeah, you know, the like the, the little balls in the cup thing that Charles does every so often. And then, uh, you know, uh, hookers are, and then he leans and explains hookers. <laughs> oh! Which I don't think you want me to actually do on stream. No, no, that's good. <laughs> yeah, it's Charles. So those are, uh, so, so that's what's going on with Magna and Gar right now. Okay. I mean... No, but yes, I don't know anymore. Back home, guys, dinner time. Come on. Oops. 
Before you go, Jace, um, Holru walks over with another bottle to give to you. Uh, Spectre will actually take this one. Um, um, mostly just because of, um, hey, this is, hey, this is kind of like that drink we had on the rooftop, isn't it? Yep, and we're gonna probably peel <laughs> off at least one of these tonight, if not both at this rate. Oh, wait! Oh. Aren't we supposed to save those to smack it on the side of the cart? No. You do that with cheap wine that you don't care about. Oh. And that's a boat, but oh. we don't do that with cards. Oh, okay. You said uh, they can do it with cards. I mean, you, you, you can do it with any vehicle. It's a christening of sending off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's traditionally done with boats, but it can be done with anything, really. So, um, Inspector, as he's just kind of walking around with a, with a bottle in hand. Asher, what are you going to name your card? Oh, I know! Threx! Threx? Threx! Are you swearing again? No. I don't think so. You know Jace doesn't like it when you swear. But I'm not swearing. Well then, what are you trying to say? Threx! He wants Shrek. to name it Shrek. No, no! Well, Shrek! I don't know what that is. Shrek with an extra K. <laughs> so, Shriek? <laughs> no, Shrek with an extra K at the end. Hence, Shrek! <laughs> oh. And it, any it's particular a... reason why you want to name it as uh, that? Oh, I heard that's really good luck. Really good something. Slight metagamey, I, I guess, in a way, but uh, that's what I've named every cart that I've uh, had in a tabletop game so far on the channel. <laughs> ah. And, wh and whatever is pulling it is named Donkey. Much to the derision of every storyteller. Well, that's 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 for Kerr. All right. Well, I guess we we go back home. Much to Specter's chagrin and not being able to take the cart in front of the shopkeeper. Do you guys wish to head back to the uh, shop or somewhere else? No, we're bed I'm bringing these people back to the house. Back to I'm, the house. I'm, I'm done. Specter, <laughs> Specter had his fun. He he's he's willing to go back home. All right, and you guys make it back as Ash slowly just kind of comes down the stairs, wrapped up in a blanket. Hey, you guys are finally back. Yep. Yes, we have successfully met our quota for the day. Spectre's like looking on the back of his hand. The uh, vacuum cells were good. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna have a chat with Charles later about this one. Hi, Ash. Hey there. How are you guys doing? Uncorks one of the bottles. Yep, sit back. Ah, one of those days. Yes, I was I was using the silver tongue that Charles taught me. Ah, one of those to, days. It, it didn't seem to work super well, but then we got it for free. So I guess it worked after all. Jace, I can use a little bit of that wine to make a demi-glaze for some meat. Passes over the bottle. Just takes the shot glass amount and hands you back the bottle. Thank you. I'll be busy in the kitchen. Have fun. Oh, 
always. So, uh, we got some fan art from Whiskers. Uh oh. Apparently, the first thing he heard when he uh, tuned in today. <laughs> uh, enjoy your geriatric grapes. <laughs> I thought that might get a chuckle out of someone. <laughs> Six hundred years years old, you know. Those suckers know the secret to eternal <clears throat> life. I'm pretty sure one of them is going to say it's all by looking at the sun. So, Brian, maybe you should be very careful with your wording in the future. Just to put that out there, I read that in one way, and then I read that a very spe or specifically different way. Oh. Oh, yeah, now I see it. All right. Well, anything else we are doing then? Is there anything you guys would like to do? Can't personally think of anything. No, I think I'm good. All right. Uh, then uh, the night passes peacefully. And in the morning, you guys are awakened to the sounds of booming wings flapping. Oh, Brioche is still cooking. Wait. They found yeah, me just for the demi glaze. Be used later. Glaze for later. Wings outside, I'm assuming Holru. I suppose. Spectre just plugs his gears and, you know, rolls over in bed. Asher goes to his window, sticks his head out. What'd you set up? We're trying to sleep. As a great booming voice sounds, greetings. Asher goes back. I hear that. I hear that you are to be the ones who will be uh, driving this cart. I hope that our adventure shall be grand together. Oh dear goodness. Chase rolls over, pulls a pillow over his head. Thank God, Magnus is not there. I'm ready to depart at any time you are! Well, that gets Asher up. He is rushing out to see what it is. Oh, no. <laughs> and out outside, you see what looks to be a Pegasus mod with your brand new cart! With your brand new cart! Let us show you the features! Oh, what's inside? Dana, uh, probably nothing. inside the Pegasus Mon. It is just the, the very large heart. And it does have a little uh, piece of cloth that you can pull over to cover the top. That way, if it rains or anything, you'll be okay. So it is a covered wagon. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. Asher is walking around it, inspecting. How big is it? It is large enough to seat all of you. Or if Jace did evolved, him and you. Hmm. Hmm. 
Is it not such a great, meticulously crafted vehicle? It shall be grand to pull this vehicle. Yes, I think this will work. Thank you, donkey. <laughs> My name is Patrick. That's a weird name for somebody pulling a cart. I am a Pegasus Bond. It is my great duty to pull this. I shall accomplish it. And nothing shall stop me. I shall see to it that you make it to wherever it is you are traveling to in comfort and style. Oh, good. Glad to hear you're so committed to your tasks, uh, donkey. My name uh, is Patrick. Uh, I'm not sure. I I think I, I think your ears are working because that's not what he's saying. His name crab. is. No, this Okay, so, we need to go get a bunch of cushions and stuff, because Jay said I couldn't have a cow, so I'm going to have cushions instead. We got to fill it up with supplies, too. Uh, we we got to find a place to mount the TV. Uh, also, uh, probably we'll just keep the tarp on at all times, so that way we can just uh, mount the, uh, you, you put the solar panels up there. Yeah, I think we can make this work, Donkey. My name is Patrick, and it will be my delight to pull such a heavy burden. I shall not let you down. Oh, must mute self. Hold on. <laughs> okay, I did. I said the joke well muted. <laughs> now I want to know what the joke was. Nope. Not YouTube safe. <laughs> All right, DM it to me. Oh, fine. Hold on. Chase! We gotta go shopping again! Jaden or Jace is still in bed. Asher is going up and bouncing on Jace. Groan. Bounce, bounce, bounce. What? We can't go shopping again. Why? To get the cart ready to go. We gotta get the supplies and stuff. Can it wait for like two more hours and after breakfast? Actually, you're right here. Grabs you, rolls on top of you, falls back asleep. <laughs> Watch out, that smoke's gonna start building up under you. Hits the off button. Problem solved. The smoke is stopped. Your power is diminished. I can see my life flashing before my eyes. My power is gone. I'm dying. Yep, stuck here forever uh... underneath me where we get to sleep now. Good night. Shutting down. Squirm, squirm. Is he going squirm. to be okay? No, oh, I'm not going to be donkey. Offends My me. name is Patrick. Shuts the door with his tail. Sleeping in here. Wonderful. Perhaps you would wish to sleep in the cart. I hear it will be most comfortable once it is the cushions. I'm in a bed. 
I am yeah. strong enough to move a bed. Oh, that's a great idea, Donkey! <clears throat> Bring the bed out to the cart! Don't... Let me sleep. See, he said don't let him sleep! <laughs> I'll ground you from the fog machine if this bed moves an inch. Never mind, do not move the bed! Just One. move the person in the bed. More hour of sleep. Fine. When shall we begin our epic journey to wherever it is you need to go? You need I'm to sure this. go outside and do stretches for the next two hours. Bye. Jay says we'll do it in an hour. After he gets another hour of sleep. Wonderful! I shall be prepared to depart in an hour! As he just kind of stands besides the cart waiting. That sounds like a great idea. I, I, I think we'll be able to pull this off really well. Also, uh, how much weight do you think that could carry? At least 1,000 pounds. I'm not sure that'll be enough. As Asher and the Pegasus Mon are just shouting back and forth to each other. So much for sleeping in. You have a kid, you don't get to sleep in. <laughs> You're almost an adult sometimes, maybe. <clears throat> Alright, so as you awaken and get the cart loaded and ready to go, is there anything else you would like to do in town? As Magna and Gar return to see everyone loading up a cart. Uh, and, uh... I mean, yes, I am an adult, and I still uh, call my mom every year at 3 a.m. on her birthday to wish her a happy birthday. You fucking monster. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow she always forgets it. to turn off her phone for it. You're going to make my mom kill me. Actually, I take that back. There was one year where she did, and then I called her Alexa devices. You monster. Uh, <laughs> you monster. <laughs> also, we got more fan art. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> more fan art. Here we go. <laughs> 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 My oh, name okay. is Patrick. Donkey. I love the fact that Bright included the fog machine. <laughs> I feel like whenever Patrick talks, it has to be in all caps. Because that's how he always talks in universe. Is at the top of his freaking lungs. Hi, Raijin. You you hear that? You gotta update it. So, loading up the cart. Need to make sure that we put Charles in there. We put Magna in the cart. Right. Jace just walks up to Magna, picks him up, holding him over his head and sets him on the cart. He looks very tired. We taking this point, at Gar. Please. Jay picks up Gar, puts him in the cart. Thank you. Magna! Gar! So, I picked these up for you too. And he hands them the disc. 
So, uh, these are protection for you two. Uh, you probably should have used them last night, but I'm sure there's uh, probably... Uh, uh, one sec. And he's scanning Magna. <laughs> no, it doesn't look like you're pregnant, so you're good for this time. But you gotta be careful in the future. Magna's just gonna have his hands... Like, his face and his hands blushing. He's like, why? Doesn't work like that, Asher. I just well, updated it. Oh no. <laughs> Not only is it caps, but it's also bold! <laughs> <laughs> My name is Patrick! Oh, or Riddle people. actually call him by his name. Everybody <laughs> but Ash will call him by his name. And every single time, that is going to be the response. Enjoy, viewers. This joke will never end. And now is the point where Asher picks up a digi egg, hands it to Magna, and says, congrats, you're pregnant. No. No. <laughs> that is how that works. Greg, <laughs> you're pregante. Pregnant. How do Daddy. you get the pregnante? Could I be pregnant? Could I be pregnant? Pregnant. Now, shall we depart, my riders? Well, first we gotta go shopping to get the supplies and the cushions and all the other stuff that we need. Excellent. Gather what supplies you need and make this cart into such a great and grand vessel that you will never wish to leave it. I Spectre. shall carry it to the ends of the world. I get Spectre's a getting up. This is your small book. Tongue. What'd you say? I said, as Spectre walks out the door, great, I did a try out some more of Charles Silvertongue. Jace is giving Spectre that this is your fault look and then goes, no, no more Silvertongue. Like, just looking well, like, on the cart, and he's like, Looks looks over at Jay's. Dear sir or <laughs> Oh my goodness, cracks the bottle. <laughs> Takes a swig and starts walking. <laughs> I'm getting supplies, you all stay here. Fine, but we're not paying full price. I'm paying whatever I pay, you stay here. Oh. Magna just like has a thumbs up, he's just like The Charles Charles said that if you pay full price for a vacuum, you suck. I'm not buying a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Actually, we I might want one sometimes. to clean up. We, we might want one to clean up the uh, crumbs and stuff. Wait, I will take anyway? care of it. Asher, you know that if we do get a vacuum, it'll start sucking up your fog. <sighs> Never All mind right. on the Is vacuum. There... Is there anything else we need to go over? Is that a good place to stop? So I'm winding down. Um, supplies. Yeah. If you want to, I think this is a decent spot to stop. You guys start getting the supplies and we can begin the travels tomorrow next week. Okay. Works for me. Alrighty then. Well, thank you everybody for joining us today for Data Resistance Squad Scar. Check out our website, zgfgaming.com. We've got links for our Discord, Telegram, Mastodon, Blue Sky, Patreon, and more. They are on the website as well as down in the description below through our link tree. Thank you to my patrons, tippers, and subscribers. It is your support that keeps this channel alive and going. I cannot do this without your guys' help and your support, so thank you. Consider becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash zgfgaming. 
It is one of the best ways to support the channel, though you can also do so by sharing the stream around, as well as bringing your friends in, grabbing some packs of cards for stream loots, or by using our Humble Bundle partner link. And of course, don't forget to go check out my friends who also stream. Uh, but for now, thank you all so much for joining, and I bid you the most fundest a duke. Bye-bye. Goodbye, Bye. sir and or madam. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.